Hello everyone, it's Teresa Sheridan and today I'm going to show you how to add a Facebook feed to your website. Whether it's a WordPress website or a regular website such as Built with Dreamweaver, you can install this, this uh, feed. It, the technique is a little different depending on what kind of site you have and what kind of access you have to the code on your site. So, this is an example of what the uh, Facebook feed will look like. You'll have a like box at the top so visitors to your website can like your Facebook page directly from there. Uh, an example, it'll show your uh, most recent uh, Facebook posts on your page. And you can also <clears throat> choose to show uh, faces of people that have liked your page. So take note of this URL up here because we will be going to that um, URL to get the code for this particular um, fee. So, um, we'll start with a WordPress site. If you have a WordPress site, you will log into your WordPress dashboard. And from the plugins menu, you will click Add New. And we're going to install the Facebook Social plugin because that will add the necessary script to the code of your page so that this will work. So we'll search for Facebook Social. Plugin, here we go. And we'll go ahead and install it. And we will activate it. So that's activated. The, the next step is to obtain the code from the developers page that you're going to insert into your widget. So um, at the top here you will put in the URL of your Facebook page and you will see on the right that the example will change in real time. So now it's showing my Facebook page. I'm going to go ahead and change the width because I my right sidebar where I'm going to put this is only 250 pixels wide, so I'm going to change this. I'll leave the height okay for right now. I'll leave it as, as the default. Um, if you were to install this in a footer widget, possibly you might want it to be a little shorter so it didn't take up so much height. I do not want to show faces on mine. I want it to look just like that. You can change the color scheme if you need to, depending on the color scheme of your website. And uh, if you just want the like box, you can opt for that and opt to not show the stream. However, I do want the stream there. Uh, you can change the border color if necessary. And you can also opt to not have the header at the top if you want to put in your own header. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the default. Then you will click the Get Code button. So. If you are using um, a non-WordPress site such as Dreamweaver and you have access to the code on your page, this is the script you would insert onto your page. Uh, it recommends right after the opening body tag, so it will run the script to show this. This will need to go on every page that you want the widget to show up on. So if you are using Dreamweaver and you're, um, in, you're using HTML and you're writing HTML, you will know where this goes. I'm not going to show you for the purposes of this tutorial. So then, regardless whether you're using a WordPress site or a non-WordPress site, you will uh, grab this code right here to place in the widget. So this is showing all the data of where it's coming from, the width, we don't want to show faces, and we have opted to leave in the header so it shows as true. So you will click Control C to copy. And then you will head over to the widget section of your WordPress site. And I'm going to put this in my right sidebar over here on my home page. So I'm going to drag a text widget into that sidebar. And I'm going to copy that, or paste that, excuse me, Control V into the text box and click Save. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's go over to the, the home page of my website and there it 
this right there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments.